From time immemorial, man has paid special attention to the conquest of space. Some of those attempts have been successful by revealing many secrets hidden in the distant sky. But some of them were failures. By learning from the mistakes of the past and applying them correctly, it is possible to win in the future. So welcome everyone to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to explore the reason behind why Richard Branson ends Virgin Orbit operations after UK space mission failure. Are you guys ready? Then let's start. What is this Virgin Orbit? Virgin Orbit is the satellite launch company which was founded by British billionaire Richard Branson in 2017. However, this company has permanently ceased operations just a few months after a major mission failure in January 2023 and at a time when it was already facing financial headwinds. The California-based firm, which had already filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection in the US in early April, has auctioned off its main assets, recovering just over 30 36 million dollars. That figure is barely 1% of the value the company reached in late 2021 on Wall Street, when it was valued at 3.5 billion dollars. A statement issued in mid-May, which announced that the Virgin Orbit company was selling its assets to four winning bidders and then folding. And also with that announcement, Virgin Orbit thanked its employees and shareholders and said that the company will be remembered for its groundbreaking technologies. A company spokesman made a statement at that time, which says that throughout its history, Virgin Orbit has been at the forefront of innovation and has made substantial contributions to the field of commercial rocket launch. Let's dig into the history of Virgin Orbit Company. Virgin Orbit was a company within the Virgin Group which provided launch services for small satellites. The company was formed as a spin off of Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic Space Tourism Venture to develop and market the Launcher One rocket, which had previously been a project under Virgin Galactic. This Launcher One was an air-launched two-stage launch vehicle which was designed to deliver 300 kilograms of payload to low Earth orbit. On December 30th, 2021 Virgin Orbit underwent a SPAC merger with NextGen Acquisition Core and became a publicly traded company at the NASDAQ Stock Exchange. At the SPAC merger, Virgin Orbit was valued at $3.7 billion. Now it's time to move towards Launcher One. On May 25th, 2020 Launcher One's first launch failed to reach orbit, but they didn't stop trying. After a long-time attempt, on January 17th, 2021, Launcher One became the first Virgin Orbit vehicle to reach orbit, successfully deploying 10 CubeSats into low Earth orbit for NASA on its final demonstration mission. The rocket was dedicated to the memory of the mother of Richard Branson. And then Launcher One successfully delivered its first commercial payload to space on June 30th, 2021. Launcher One made another two successful missions after that. On January 13th, 2022, the vehicle Launcher One successfully delivered seven CubeSats for three customers into orbit. And on July 2, it flew another successful mission. But after some successful missions, on January 9th, 2023, Launcher One failed to orbit despite a nominal drop from the aircraft, with Virgin Orbit sighting an anomaly with the upper stage. The failed payload included nine satellites from seven different customers. This was Virgin Orbit's first attempted launch from the UK at Spaceport Cornwall, because all previous launches were from Mojave Air and Spaceport. However, Launcher One made six flights from 2020 to 2023, resulting in four successful and two failures. Let's move forward. Word Cosmic Girl is something that sticks together with Virgin Orbit. Who is this Cosmic Girl? But surprisingly, this Cosmic Girl is not a human, but the name of the modified Boeing 747 to 400 that Virgin Orbit used to launch its rockets. In 2022, Virgin Orbit announced plans to acquire additional 747S with the ability to transport the rocket and ground support equipment internally. 
Now let's focus on bankruptcy and dissolution of this Virgin Orbit company. Virgin Orbit announced a pause of operations and furloughing of nearly its entire staff on March 16, 2023, while seeking additional funding. Causes for the event are voted as both capital management and technical. As for the first nine months of 2022, Virgin Orbit recorded a loss of $139.5 million. Matthew Brown, a tech Texas and Hawaii-based venture capital firm, which was led by Dallas-based Matthew Brown, made a $200 million tender for the company, but ultimately fell through. After some time, the company declared Chapter 11 bankruptcy on April 4, 2023. Matthew Brown ultimately collected the intellectual property from the bankruptcy partners. Slowly, we have reached the end of the Virgin Orbit Company. The company assets were divested to three major bidders in May 2023. The company's Long Beach facility, manufacturing and tooling, was acquired by Rocket Lab for $16 million. And the company's Mojave test site was purchased by Launcher for $3 million. The Cosmic Girl aircraft was sold to Stratolaunch Systems for $17 million, and an additional $3.8 million million dollars in assets were sold to Firefly Aerospace on June 15th. With that, Virgin Orbit ends his operations. But Richard Branson, the flamboyant founder of the Virgin Group, has made Virgin one of the world's most irresistible global brands. And since starting his business empire in the early 1970s with Virgin Records, has expanded into many diverse sectors, from travel to telecommunications, health to banking, music, leisure, and space. So this is the end of our video. Thank you for being with us. And do not forget to like, share, and put your valuable ideas about our video in the comment box below. Please spend a few seconds to subscribe to our YouTube channel and remember to hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any of our future updates.